Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Glad you can join me. Got a brand new jointer, eight inch long in feed and out feed table. Really good machine, runs on 220. Uh, it has a straight knife blades on it, three of those, uh, high tension steel, so they're real sharp and they don't nick as easily as uh, some other jointers out there. Uh, this is the Jet. The model is the JJ8CS. This is an eight inch jointer. I think I mentioned that already. Got a, uh, a nice square fence up on it on the back. Got a really nice wide surface. I got myself some push blocks for it. I'm gonna cut some, uh, some wood down and run it through the jointer and then we'll see how this thing performs. So I have a project going on right now, which is a really large project and it's taken me a little bit of a, you know, some time to do with my regular job, coming home and then working on the, uh, the side projects. So I figured to keep the videos going in between and not have such a big break in between projects, I'll do a tool review right here. So I'm really excited about this jointer right here. So I'm gonna run a piece of red oak through there. We're gonna flatten one face of the red oak, and then we're gonna run it through and we're gonna joint one edge. This way we have two sides then ready to run through the table saw and the plane. And we're gonna skip those extra two steps here. I just wanna focus mainly on the jointer today. What I love about this thing is not only, you know, is it like extremely powerful and just tears through the wood, but it gives me a really clean face and a really clean edge. There's almost no sanding in it, you know, that I have to do afterwards. So I had to step up to this because the projects I'm doing right now, which they just required it. I mean, I'm, I'm working with a lot of large boards and I got tired of cutting them down to six inches to have to run them through a jointer to actually make them work for the project. So I was, you know, losing a lot of material that way, a lot of waste. So now that I have a larger jointer and there's a lot more support from the, the in-feed, you know, being as large as it is, and I have a, the out-feed table is actually longer than the in-feed table, so I have that end support as I run it through. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this thing and uh, we'll talk about some of the features. Okay, so I brought you a little bit closer here so you can see what's really going on with this thing. Not a bad paint job on it, color's all right, don't really care you know, too much what color it is. You know, Grizzly makes a green one, Jet makes a white one, you have like Delta makes a gray one. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as they perform the way they're supposed to. So on this particular model, we have the sliding dovetail style adjustable in-feed and out-feed table. All you have to do is loosen up this I guess key chuck right here, it's a threaded rod with a uh, key on it and the same thing on the in-feed table. You have your smooth operation, I'm going to loosen this up and just show you how easy it is to turn the, the handles and you can actually see the, the table sliding and we'll bring it back because I only like to make just about a little less than a sixteenth of an inch, sometimes a thirty-second of an inch cut. I make these passes here, just enough to take off, just enough material, flatten it out and really get it going. I'll get you a close-up of the way that glides in a second. Uh, nice blade guard right here, spring loader if you let it go. It'll snap back to the fence. Fence back here, that's adjustable. This also can, you know, bevel. Uh, I never use that feature on a jointer. I don't really see the point of that. You know, if you need to make a bevel, I cut it on the table saw. So uh, it has the rabbiting capabilities right here. If you move the fence all the way out, you can actually do rabbits in the wood. That's something, another feature that I really don't use. Uh, four inch port for your dust collection, like most jointers have. Uh, heavy duty case switch. Runs off 220. Uh, you do have to wire it yourself. You have to wire it to the motor. Uh, they do give you the wires. You wire it to the motor, and then you have to buy your own plug for a 220 receptacle and wire that on there. Um, I put this is a Jet mobile base. This is the mobile base that it calls for on this. And what I really like about this, you know, particular model is that I don't. Right here is where it's going to sit, and I don't have to move it unless I'm working with really extra long boards because I have my compressor there and I have my miter saw over here. Just where it sits right now, if I'm working with a piece of red oak like this or any, any other piece of lumber, anything that's around you know three to four feet, I can run, leave the joint to where it is. I don't have to roll it out. I can make my passes right here without adjusting anything. So enough about that. We're gonna make a couple passes in a minute. Just wanna talk really quickly about the in-feed and the out-feed. Sixty-seven inches of bed capacity. So you have a lot of support from the in-feed table before you make your pass and as you continue to pass through the blades, 
you have a lot of out feet support so the wood's not going to tip, be that joint to snipe at the end by tipping the board or uh, not taking off the edge and then you know, you know, you're not having a good jointed edge. So uh, enough talk, let's run this puppy and see what it can do. Okay guys, you can see this gave me a really nice, flat, smooth surface. There's virtually no sanding. I mean, obviously if you're going to use this for a project, you have to sand it down, but there are no ridges or bevels or anything there. The cup is, is gone. You can see when I put it on the table, move it here, how flat that is. And you can see that's very parallel and coplanar with the table. So now, we'll take that flattened face and we'll run it up against the fence and joint an edge. And you guys can really see after just a few passes, look how flat that edge is. That's ready to be run up against a table saw. Or if I needed to butt it up against another piece of wood for a glue up, that thing is absolutely perfect. You check that with a square, there'll be no light coming through there. So we have the jointed edge, we have our flat face. Now we'd be able to run this drill table saw and the planer and surface it on all four sides and we have a perfect piece of red oak for a nice project. You can see that I'm passing it through there effortlessly. This thing, it just eats up the wood. There is no forcing it. My last jointer, it was a good jointer, but it lacked the power that this monster right here has. So I'm gonna let you listen to it also. I'm gonna take this piece of wood down right here. Put that on the side. I want you to hear how quiet it is while it, it's running, you know, without passing any wood through it. I had my dust collection hooked up before, so I'm gonna leave that off right now, and I'm just gonna let you hear the machine by itself. Locking in place, You're very precise. A little marking gauge right here, tell you how the depth of the cut, and you're good to go. Okay guys, so that's it for uh, this week's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a great tool. I haven't really seen any videos on this jet joiner right here. I, I know a lot of people have had it because they, you know, I've searched it on the internet. A lot of people say how great a machine it is. Uh, in the woodworking store where I purchased this, Everybody that worked there had nothing but good things to say about this. Jet does own Powermatic, same company. So, I mean, there is a big price difference. Powermatic might be just a little bit more upscale, but let me tell you, I mean, you know, this wasn't a cheap joint, I'll tell you right now. It's well over $1,000, you know, it's very close to 2000 So, worth every penny. I love the machine, I'm gonna continue to use it. You're gonna see it in all my future videos, including the one that I'm filming right now. Uh, which is, uh, by the way, a closet organization system, which is, uh, it's going to be really cool. So you're going to have to, you know, watch that video. Make sure you subscribe. This way, you, you know, you can get notified when I actually upload that. It's going to be nice built-ins in a walk-in closet, and that's going to be real fun. Uh, okay, so guys, that's it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to post the Instagram link uh, right down the bottom of the screen. Uh, make sure you follow me so you can get, you know, daily updates of what's going on in the shop, new tools that I got, and, and things like that, things that I acquire, and uh, well, a lot of fun. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you next time.